What is going down everybody? It's your boy Onto the Boss here coming out here with another franchise mode video featuring the Washington Redskins. Now, the first thing that I wanted to do when I was in my home menu was show you guys the standings. You guys were all curious to see what was going on in NFC East and a struggle in NFC East. You see the Giants are 0-3 or right there in third place. So nothing looks good right now. So the first thing that I really wanted to do was these contract negotiations. Fred Davis, his contract is going to be running out. So he's definitely my feature tight end. So Five year, 4.550 million contract right here. And then uh, I'm also going to be giving the young Delman Young his contract. And uh, three years, 700K is not bad at all. That's actually pretty cheap for his talent. If you guys are a Redskins fan, you guys have seen him all year. He's actually improving and he's going to become one of the best uh, fullbacks in my opinion. So definitely that contract extension is worth it. So next up. We have the game against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. It should be interesting. We're here in Tampa for this early season matchup between the Redskins and the Buccaneers. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Phil Sims. Partner, good to be with you today. Good to be with you too, Jim. You know what we're going to see today? Two defenses that love to hit the quarterback. I'm glad I'm not playing. When you look at the matchup at receiver today, we have a couple of guys out there that aren't considered game breakers, but you better be careful because they can still burn you if you're not careful. So Tampa Bay gets the ball first, and here comes Doug Martin, something that I'm worried about, and he gets the first play of the game and gets over 10 yards for Tampa Bay first down. Here comes Doug Martin once again. Finally, we get a stop right here, and on third and seven, Doug Freeman is going to step back, and this one almost intercepted my Merriweather. I don't know how he couldn't hang on, so that leads us to having our first possession of the game. You see Alfred Morris carrying that one, loses two yards, and then Josh, or should I say Pierre Garcon, how do you drop that ball? And on third down, you see RG3's, you know, his accuracy, not looking good at all this year. And I, I really got to tell you, he is 80 overall now. So we do nothing on that possession, and the <laughs> next possession that we have, you see my tight end getting that catch, but he fumbles the ball, and Tampa Bay recovers. So Tampa Bay, they couldn't really do anything with that possession, but they were or since they had a good field position able to set up for a field goal and just like that they go up by three points so young rg3 he was like all right you know what it is my time i'm just gonna take this one and pick up five yards on the play later down in the possession it started in 17 there comes fred davis and you can tell he's happy by his contract well hopefully if he accepted it but he's out here busting his behind and he is trying to put on the team on his back so rg3 steps back now look at this it is oh Santana Moss is right there for the reception 13 yards on the play and look at this once again literally everyone on the defense got a hand on the ball but you see Santana Moss right behind all these defenders he was able to keep his eye on the money and make that reception so the Washington Redskins come back with this handoff to Alfred Moss right through the middle and Alfred I believe he's gonna be short a yard for a first down but that is no problem we do we do pick up the first down here comes Alfred Morris once again takes this one up at the 18 but we do lose, lose two yards actually and then the pressure was just getting to RG3 all game long so we settle for a field goal as well Billy kind of nails this one and it is 13 all now so what will RG do RG3 I don't even know why I'm saying RG2 do here so you see Santana Moss who has had a big game so far gets another first down and my defense you know I haven't really showed their highlights yet but my defense has been big getting these stops and giving the ball back to us with five minutes remaining in the second quarter so rg3 once again steps back nowhere to go pressure is coming completes this one to des bryant and des bryant takes this one to the four yard line two receptions and 31 yards on the game and alfred morris this is too easy for him this is alfred morris range so here comes josh freeman they're down by seven points. He's going deep to Dallas Clark. And Dallas Clark was just unguarded on the play. I don't even know how that happened. But our secondary is struggling in this game so far. So Dallas Clark comes back here once again. Takes the ball to the one-yard line. But he gets hurt on the play. But that is no problem. Because Josh Freeman is going to step back. And he finds his receiver for the tying touchdown play. And just like that, 
We're gonna get the ball back and we're just gonna pretend like the score is zero to zero. So here comes Fred Davis once again. Another huge reception. So maybe it is a contract. You never know what it is. And Josh Morgan is gonna give us back to back first down. So that is gonna help us get a field goal, which is pretty close. It hits the post and it goes in right before the half end. So my team is pretty pumped. And to start off the second half, we did get the ball first and we did get another field goal. So here comes Josh Freeman making a huge mistake. Throws an interception to Cedric Griffin and he is going to make this a pick six as he takes us to the house here in Tampa Bay. So the score is 22 to 10. We decide to go for it. Felix Jones comes into the game and takes this one for a two-point conversion so just like that we're up 24 to 10 this is you know scary for tampa bay they have to get something going here and their young rookie running back doug martin uh, another no just a perfect way to start off possession gets a first down so josh freeman once again this time to look at blunt look at how many tackles he is breaking and he takes this one to the 23 yard line so later down in the possession all they did was settle for a field goal because my defense came up pretty big so here comes rg3 we do have five minutes remaining and you know something that we have to do and that we should do is pretty much kill the clock right and that is exactly what we're doing but at the same time we are picking up first downs you see a fake handoff right here rg3 cutting through the holes and he finds himself at the seven yard line so it's third and three now rg3 getting the pressure let go of the ball and that is an incomplete pass. So maybe we should have just, you know, kicked the field goal. But I decided to go for it here. I just don't like kicking a field goal on third down. That sounds pretty stupid, right? But for some reason, and when I was playing this game at the moment, I just wanted to go for it. And that is what I did. So Josh Freeman takes over. He intercepts this one. Or should I say he threw an interception to D'Angelo Hall. So that gives the ball back to us. And all I had on my mind was just to score. I, I don't know why. I should have wasted the clock. But obviously, you know me. I just love scoring so Alfred Morris right here on third down gets stopped at the two so I give it to Daryl Young and he gets stopped as well so I don't know what is going on but Josh Freeman he decides to step back right here and almost intercepted so this is their last shot fourth and ten Josh Freeman what will they do and look at that accuracy oh my so that is pretty much it for the Tampa Buccaneers I decided to come out here instead of scoring I just kneeled it down with RG3 and we secured this victory so beforehand we were struggling we had a one and two record but we came here in Tampa Bay and got our second win of the season definitely gonna make chemistry definitely gonna build every single guy's uh, confidence you know so rg3 had a big game alfred morris and my receivers had a big game and so did my defense so it was a pretty good one it's your boy onto the boss and i am signing out if you guys want to stay updated on when all my videos will be uploaded make sure you follow me on twitter twitter.com slash onto the boss